Yeah, so this is a good question. It's saying, uh, why is the dielectric constant of ice, right? A lot smaller than that for water. For, for water, it's about 80 times greater. yeah yeah so uh in other words like it's, it's how how free you are to move uh in uh, uh, when when subjected to that radiation you know the incident radiation so for water being a liquid you know in the in the in the liquid state uh water is is a very polar molecule and so it's uh fairly free to move, right? Whereas in the solid state, uh, the uh, atoms come together and they freeze and it's, it's not free to move anymore. So that's the reason it's, uh, you know, N is 80 times greater, which means, uh, if you remember how we solved this question, 80 times greater means it's gonna slow light for or slow uh, an electromagnetic wave 80 times more than that of liquid water they won't be able to get through and that's because of the collisions they were in, they will encounter as a result of the molecules not being free to move Well, if, if, if the index of refraction is 80, just by looking at this equation alone, you could, right? We know that V is C over N. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is for part A. We know that V is C over N. So that means you're, if N is 80 times greater in solid water than liquid water, that means you're gonna slow down light 80 times more in, in solid than in liquid. Okay. So, so basically uh, we could say uh, H2O liquid freedom of movement. And for the ice, no freedom of movement. Right? And then it says for part B, how is it that a radar beam easily passes through ice? Uh, but it's considerably reflected when encountering a dense uh, rain. So considering what we said in part A, how, why are things here uh, kind of uh, the other way around, sort of, yeah? Well, the reason being is because um, the, uh, r the radar uh, has a frequency is that of a microwave frequency, yeah? And, uh, you know, think about it. Uh, you know, using a microwave in the kitchen, why does it heat your food? Because it interacts strongly with the droplets of water. That, you know, you put two things in the microwave and the one that ha that's more fluidy will heat up more. And this is sort of the same thing because th on that frequency you are actually interacting strongly with, uh, uh, with, the liquid, with the droplets of water, right? And that, that interaction sort of interfering uh, with, with, the easage of, with the ease of passage. Yeah, so so that's the reason. So uh, microwave frequencies, right? 
which is what the radar is is microwave frequencies uh, you, you could say interact with the droplets of water or with the molecules of water whatever you want to call it the molecules of water or the droplets in the in, in this example it's saying uh, uh, dense rain so you know it's coming down in droplets in liquid state and this sort of hinders the uh, ease of passage 